Good morning, it's Valerie Holdren with Soap Underground. Um, this morning I wanted to make a video on my oatmeal milk and honey soap. Um, I've made it several different ways. Um, I call it morning, that's what I named my soap. Um, and I've done it several different ways, but I've not done it with cooked strained oatmeal and I thought I just wanted to give it a try and my customers love my oatmeal milk and honey soap and I told a girl that I was going to be revamping it a little bit and she's like oh I hope it's as good this is my favorite soap and it is my best seller but I just wanted to give using cooked strained oatmeal a try rather than colloidal oatmeal or um, just you know the ground oatmeal so I'm using it this morning as um, some of my water my liquid and um, I've discounted that from my lye solution and I will be adding it and stick blending it into my warm oils um, before I do my lye um, my formula today is 15% apricot kernel, 12% castor, 13% coconut oil, 20% olive oil, and 30% beef tallow, and 10% cocoa butter, which gave my numbers, um, I'm not a, one who gets overly concerned about my number, my hardness number. Um, I'm happy usually anywhere from a 36 to a 40. Um, but this one is a 38 in hardness, an 11 in cleansing, 59 in conditioning, bubbly is 22, creamy is 38. Uh, my iodine number was a 61. So another additive I'm going to be using today is brown sugar. I've used sugar, I've used raw sugar, I've used agave, I've used honey, molasses, um, maple syrup, but I've never used brown sugar. So I have that mixed in. I'm using about a tablespoon and I'm using two tablespoons of honey and um, just anxious to see if that you know what if anything that difference it makes I don't know that it will but I just like the idea of it and it just added to the morning theme so um, I'm almost ready to begin I'm waiting on my um, oils to heat up just a little bit more I probably will start this somewhere between 140 and 150 and um, we'll get started Okay, I'm getting ready to add my cooked strained oatmeal that I've mixed with some oat milk. I'm also going to be adding oat milk after the cook. I've reserved um, two ounces for that. So I'm going to just get this mixed up. And then add my oil, my lye. So do have a little bit of um, colloidal oatmeal in here as with my kale and clay. Okay, so that's mixed up. In goes my lye. My lye is at about 170 and my oils are at about 155 I believe it said. So we're good. I've never used cooked oatmeal in my soap before. I've seen it used. Gallery Mosher uses it often. And I saw someone else using it. I thought, you know, I need to give this a try. I'm 
going to bring it to a medium to thick trace. It's at 174. I could start stop here with the light trace, but I'm not. <laughs> the little speckly things that I see. So creamy. I'm gonna stop there. Okay, my temperatures were at about 174. And I'm gonna color this. I'm gonna do an in the pot swirl. And my only colorant is going to be molasses. Um, I love molasses as a colorant, and it also adds to the lather. So this soap is going to have several different sugars in it, um, with the honey and the brown sugar and the molasses. Today is the Saturday before Christmas. I have quite a bit going on today, but this soap, I woke up at 3 o'clock in the morning. Um, the dog woke me up. So after going back to bed, I decided, I was just lying there thinking, I said I ought to get up and make soap, but I didn't, and I, instead I just kind of went through things in my mind that I want it to do. So after this, I have some cooking to do. I have to go down and help my daughter um, later. Um, I, I feel like all I do is talk about my daughter's accident um, and the loss of my granddaughter. And holidays are especially hard. Every day is hard. Every day is a first. And it, without her is a first. And every day is hard without her. Um, I'm not a Halloween person, but Halloween was hard because she loved to dress up. Thanksgiving was hard. But Christmas, this is beyond hard. Um, but Gracie loved when I made soap, and we have a family gathering tonight, and it's, it's going to be difficult, but Gracie loved them, and I know she would want us to continue, and, um, so I thought, you know, I'm going to make soap today. She'd want me to make soap today when I'm feeling so sad, because this makes me happy. So, um, I don't know, I just felt like I needed to share it with you all, who have become my friends. Um, so just, I ask you, if you are a praying group of people, please pray for us and give us positive thoughts during this difficult season. Christmas really isn't, the secular part of Christmas isn't the happiest time of the year when you've had a terrible loss. And um, as believers, as Christians, I realize that 
Gracie is celebrating Jesus' birthday. She's having her best Christmas while we're having our worst secularly. Um, but anyway, I just ask you to keep us in your thoughts and prayers as we try to get through this season. And um, I will be back when this starts to do something. Okay, it is starting to come up on the sides here. I think you can probably see down in there. It's only been just a couple of minutes. Um, and my crock pot is on low. And I may turn it off here in just a minute. I'm going to look at it once I get it stirred down and see how hot I think it is. But before I got emotional, where I was going with that is, as sad as we are, we also have a praise in that my daughter and granddaughter are going to be able to go back to their home. Um, it's been almost seven months since the accident. My daughter has to have one more <clears throat> surgery on Monday it's a skin graft, it's outpatient, and then my granddaughter has to have um, the original rods and plates taken out of her leg and then just another plate put in. Um, and then sometime mid-January, <clears throat> they will probably moving, be moving back to their house which is right down the road so we've been getting a lot of painting and things like that done well so that's you know we're still mourning we're still grieving but we're also celebrating their recovery okay so that's 224 and I do have it turned off and I'm going to actually remove it from the cooking unit and let it finish because it's plenty hot this one gets hotter than my other one I can pick up the other one and without pot holders but this one I can't That has a little bit of separation in it, so I may have to whisk it back together. I don't think I'll get the stick blender back out, but okay. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, it's been about two minutes and. It's really not doing anything. Um, so I'm going to help it along just because I have things to do today. Um, so I'm going to give it a whisk, and oftentimes that will, you know, act as kind of a stick blending. But I can see um, that it is turning to Vaseline already. And um, so I'm going to just help this along, get the separation gone. And I'm at 227. I, I don't know about you all, but I am not ready for Christmas. I have done a lot of my shopping online, but... I still need to get a couple of things. My my other um, eight grandchildren, oh, <laughs> in one family, I've been waiting on my one grandson's present, and it says it's in route, but that's been a long time, so I'm worried about that. And he's going to be devastated if he doesn't get it because he's autistic and everything is black and white to him. 
Okay, we are, I'm gonna spritz this down a little bit, but it's coming up for a volcano. And we are at Vaseline. mashed potato but it's moving right along and I just keep my fingers crossed that it doesn't go green with every soap because something happens sometimes to my soap and my Vaseline when it turns to Vaseline it goes green and I cannot figure it out but this is all Vaseline now I also don't know if I mentioned that I did this at 35% water instead of 38. So I'm just giving this a mist. Best one of the best tips Valerie Mosher ever gave me um, by way of her videos was about this water bottle. That I'm a fanatic about my sides and using this light mist water bottle makes the biggest difference in keeping sides clean. So I'm going to take out just a little bit here to do the zap test. I know it's done, you know, by looking at it, but I don't want to take it for granted and there be some little something that's not right. So that's a pretty Vaseline and it didn't go green so I'm even I am one happy camper as they say so I'm gonna go on over to the stove while my um, little test sample there is cooling and get my additives and we'll see you in a minute okay it is completely neutral and I'm adding in my super fat uh, 3% of oat oil and jojoba oil. The majority is oat oil. I love oat oil. And then the next additive is going to be my yogurt. I don't know, I may this time do my the rest of my milk, which is oat milk. And I add it slowly to keep it from cooking on the bottom. And it is warm. It's been over on the stove. And I can get rid of these gloves, thank goodness. It's all neutral. There's no lye left, so... We're good to go. The batter's just hot. And I was going to say also, everybody does things differently. Um, you know, if you're new to hot process, you will figure out your own way, as do we all, which is the best way to try things that you see and figure out which way you like the best. You know, some people add every little ingredient separate. Some people don't. I tend to mix things. Um, you know, I, so just practice and see which way you get the best results. That's, that's what everybody should do. Okay, now my yogurt, and that's at room temperature. It may be a little cool still because I, and I don't need it to be super fluid, but I want it to be fluid enough or manageable enough to pour into my individual molds. But I am gonna do an in the pot swirl and pour I liked it the way that turned out the last time. I'm 
and get all of your yogurt and milk stirred in really well so that you don't have cooked pieces. Okay, I'm gonna spray that down because I need to test the temperature to see if it's okay to add my honey now. Seventy-three. I'm going to let that cool down a little bit more before I add it. And my sodium lactate and apple cider vinegar and my honey and brown sugar are all in this little container that I've been keeping warm on the stove. Um, so I'm going to wait at least till it cools down to 170 before I add that. Okay, it's down to 168, so I'm going to add it in. And as I said, I've never used brown sugar in my formula, but I'm going to today. I just did, <laughs> so you'll be a part of the first. a nice natural sweet smell. So I'm going to pour off well I'm going to scoop off my molasses is in here which this has been kept warm. That's going to be my additional color. And I'm going to keep that from... Okay. Get this stirred up. And I mix, it's about a tablespoon of molasses, and I mix it with a tablespoon of water. And a little bit of glycerin. And that's how I mix my molasses to use as a colorant. Just like I would any other colorant. Not very fluid, so I'm I don't have a lot of time to wait today to see if it will the batter will thicken up, but so what I'm gonna do now is just give it a little like that. pour it back in here to pour into my molds. If you can see, you think you have ample working space, but you really don't. Still quite warm, but I like to use my clean fingers when I can. 
<clears throat> so that's pretty much it. You don't need to <clears throat> I don't need to bore you with filling up the molds. So um how about when I unmold we come back. Thank you for watching. Hey, good afternoon. It's been about four hours and I didn't bring you back for the unmolding because that's kind of boring. But these are the ones that I made this morning in the individual loaves. And this is how they turned out. And I did them at 35% lye liquid, so they they're not quite as smooth as my last ones, but I like them. I love the marbly molasses through the natural batter. And I can still see speckles, I don't know if you can, of the um, oatmeal, the cooked oatmeal, that I just stick blended into the oils. But I'm happy with them. And... Um, I did do a little sample bar for myself, and it feels great. It's so creamy. It's bubbly, but it's very creamy. And um, so I, I probably will be using the cooked oatmeal again. I, I like the way that feels. And um, if I don't do another video and talk with you um, before Christmas, I wish you and yours the merriest Christmas ever, and I will see you another time. Take care.